Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com and BiannualBlogathonBash.com and welcome to our daily vlog. So today we took a road trip and I used my Best Buy Rewards Certificate and this is what I picked up. Um, so I needed some kind of tripod to hold uh, my iPhone 13 Max Pro. And most of them aren't big enough. They, um, if, if they do fit in the holder, the um, flexible material that holds the holder will just kind of do this. So I ended up giving um, the two that I had bought and tried uh, from TJ Maxx to my daughter because she does not have an iPhone. And I figured it would work fine for her. It just wasn't okay for my phone. Um, part of the problem is I have a case on my phone. I have an OtterBox on my phone. And um, that adds a little bit of size and weight to the phone. So I we looked at all the normal uh, vlogging kits that they had and either they weren't going to be big enough or I was going to run into the exact same problems. And one thing that I wanted was a light. I do have studio lighting, um, but it's a bit of a hassle to put all the studio lighting up every time I want to do a video. Um, some videos I have to use it and that's fine, but without a dedicated place right now, to do the video, um, it's packing and unpacking the lights every single time I need to use them. So I wanted kind of an all-in-one, and that's that's what this one is. It has a light that comes with it that goes up top. Um, I could use a different light if I decided I wanted to. It has a holder for the phone. Um, it has a stand. And this is not plastic. This is actually cast. So it's cast iron. Um, it's very, very nice, very sturdy. The uh, video, the, the phone itself is adjustable, so I can move it around and put it where I want to put it. The uh, light itself is on a ball mount, so I can adjust the light. There are three different light settings, and this one that I picked, I think, looks very natural. Very, very nice. So, I feel like that, you know, this this was a real plus. And then being able to use my reward certificates to pay for it was fantastic. Um, it was on sale, so that helped, because um, this is a pretty pricey item if you pay full price. But there's just, there's a lot of things that I've been wanting to do and show you guys. And without a way to hold my phone and keep it stable, there was just no way of doing that. I also wanted to mention I did go up into the attic last night after I got done doing last night's vlog. And I did find my Peter Rabbit stuff. So it was clear in the back in the uh, TJ Maxx bag that I had bought it in inside of a clear plastic tub. So Jeff just didn't go far enough back into the attic to actually see it. I also found, uh, and I haven't done anything with this, but I bought the peep on a perch. And partly because I like peeps. And I thought it was just really cute. So I have the peep on a perch. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything other than decorate with that. Or if I'm actually going to vlog about it. Or vlog about it. And, you know, show the different things. I, I really haven't decided yet. So that might be something uh, worth looking forward to. I also found... 
I knew I had um, some stretch Peter Rabbit fabric, but I didn't realize I had some cotton fabric that was also Peter Rabbit. So I found that and I brought that down. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with a jet, but like I said, I'm thinking about Easter and um, what I might wanna do and also just actually turning my dining room into a year round Peter Rabbit room. I'm a little disappointed that there's not a lot of items in the US um, like there is in the UK. There's actually a whole page on Amazon dedicated to different types of Peter Rabbit merchandise. Here in the US, you can find some at uh, TJ Maxx, Williams Sonoma, and Pottery Barn. And a few things on Amazon, but not near what's available elsewhere. So because I've been wanting some uh, actual china or stoneware, dinner plates and things, um, I've just, I don't really want to pay, you know, two or three hundred dollars for a set of dishes. So I have seen them as low as like, I think, I can't remember if it was $40 or $60 for the set at TJ Maxx, which to me is a lot more doable than the higher price. Um, it was stoneware, not the Wedgwood. And I, I understand that there's a difference between stoneware and Wedgwood. But since it's more the look that I'm going for and less of the type of you know, China versus stoneware. I also saw some really cute things. I, again, I don't remember if it was Pottery Barn or William Sonoma, but there were some cute table runners and things that were Peter Rabbit this year that I hadn't seen in the past um, that I really liked. And I did get some uh, small towels like kitchen towels and some more shrags that I'm thinking about embroidering a Peter Rabbit design on. I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out because it wasn't a real smooth towel. It has like uh, little checkers through it. So I may try one and see how it works. And if it does, it does. And if it don't, it don't. I also have a um, stamp set and some papers that I got in a book. It was a craft magazine from the UK. So some different things that I could possibly even make if I can't find everything that I want. So, but like I said, I'm just, I'm surprised because like Raggedy Ann, you know, Peter Rabbit has been around for a long, long time. And you would think, especially with Easter coming up, that you could find items everywhere, basically, in the Easter stuff. And that's just not the case here in the U.S. So, um, you know, I've looked on eBay as well. I've looked on Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, it's just... It's confusing to me as to why there are a few books and some stuffed toys, but the other merchandise just either it isn't out there or it's very, very high priced. I know that the one site in the UK said that they did ship to the US. I'm just not sure what all is involved with doing that. And that may be something that I end up breaking down and trying to figure out and just paying through PayPal so that, you know, PayPal can do the money conversion for me. Again, it's something I'm thinking about, but I haven't really done yet. I would much rather buy from a U.S. retailer and not have to deal with international currency conversions and international shipping and all that, but we'll see. So anyway, guys, do any of you collect Peter Rabbit? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope you will subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we'll see you tomorrow with another daily vlog. Have a great night.